Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Starman Talk the Talks. I'm your host, Devin. With me is just Cody. Hey, everybody. And Cody, I thought we'd just talk about shows we've been watching recently. Cool. So, anything on your mind for shows? Uh, I've been watching one called Murdoch Mysteries. Right. Kind of a procedural show that takes place in, like, 1820. Okay. It's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting to see what things might have looked like back then. Yeah. And how advanced they are not. Yes. <laughs> I kind of like watching those old time shows because you got to realize that like they're on limited technology, so they have to use more brain power to solve things. Yeah. In those murder mysteries. Yeah. It's like who killed this person? <laughs> Well, we can't do an autopsy, so we can tell that he got shot. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he got hit in the back of the head. What do you want me to tell you? <laughs> well, I guess that he was hit in the back of the head. That kind of narrows it down. <laughs> Who hits people in the back of the head? Everyone. Everyone hits people in the back of the head. <laughs> Everyone's a suspect. Yeah. Even you! Except for the no arm guy there, he can't hit people in the back of the head, so I guess we can rule him out. He could use his feet. True. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no arm guy, you're a suspect again. <laughs> so, I finished watching the anime for Danganronpa, so the V3 versions. Oh, nice. So, all three stories of that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um. Outside game, I've only seen the first and second game, and I watched the original anime with Billy a while back. Mm -hmm. We just watched it recently. Yep. And I feel this anime holds up even as long as you watch the first anime. Uh, this will still hold up, but you'll have a few questions. Okay. It is kind of recommended that you have played at least the second game before going in. And watching this. Okay. Yeah. Um, what else have I been watching? Well, one I kind of want to give a try is uh, Umbrella Academy. Okay. That's the uh, Resident Evil live action? No, um, kind of superhero. Oh, no, that one, yes. Okay. What did I think Umbrella Corpse when she said Umbrella? That's what most people think. Yeah. I was like, that sounds Resident Evil-y, and then it's like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> but, I was like, are these superheroes? Like, he took his arm off. That's not a hero thing. Yeah, it... I'm interested, but I'm not gonna... I don't really have the time. Yeah, I... Um... Basically, the Cuphead DLC, I went back and rewatched uh, the Cuphead show. Yeah, I kind of want to give that a whirl now. Oh, the Cuphead game? No, no, no. Oh, the show. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, the game might be a little bit beyond your skill set, but if you want to go, go. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah, I was like, everyone will recall your Castlevania playthroughs. Why do you have to bring that up? Because it's the most current topic. <laughs> eh, true. You're still a jerk. <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I don't discourage anyone who wants to try the game. I mean, yeah. It's up your alley, definitely. Um, it's just boss fight the game. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be more worried about the frustration factor of the game. Okay, so a lot of people say that's kind of a frustrating game. And it can be, yes. But for me, I find if you're getting a little frustrated with a boss, uh, a go fight someone else or take a break. It's always a good idea. Yeah. All it is is just remembering boss patterns... Uh, yeah, we know how I am with that. Yeah. And just knowing what to do when certain things happen. Yeah. 
Um, the show, however, because of the way the game's set up, it's supposed to be like one of those old cartoons. Okay. So they figured, let's make a show of it. And the show is actually pretty good. It's kind of a day-to-day -day basis with an overlying okay. story. Where the devil's trying to take Cuphead's soul. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, I, I've heard there's a new Resident Evil series coming out. Yeah. I'm a little iffy about it. Especially after watching a movie. Which movie? I, I watched the new Resident Evil movie. The one me and Billy reviewed? Probably. It, it's like Resident Evil 2 done as a movie. I, I found it more like they rewrote the history and mashed everybody together. Yeah, I can kind of see that, but... Th there were some cheesy parts that kind of made me... What? Okay. To be fair, though, it's more accurate to the games oh, than yeah. what you've been recently getting. Oh, yeah. So, hopefully they'll expand on it yeah. and fix it up a bit. Overall, it was good. Yeah. Like, I'm not a Resident Evil fan, if anyone doesn't know. And I still enjoyed it. Yeah, but it was a good movie. Yeah. Better than the Silent Hill movies. <laughs> Cody just gives me a look. Like, why did you have to remind me of those? The second movie, yes. Yeah. I didn't mind the first. The first movie, if you didn't know what Silent Hill was... Yeah. Sure. But the second movie, no. That yeah. was just... That was spitting in the face of Silent Hill. Yeah. I just felt it wasn't directed well enough. The first one was at least a lot better than that one. Yeah. I didn't know you had seen the first Silent Hill movie. Yeah, I have both of them, so... Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it's, I... Like, I wish I was in the timeline where Silent Hill was more popular than Resident Evil. That's the kind of timeline I would like to be in. Because I like Silent Hill over Resident Evil. Yeah, that's fair. I, I like... Silent Hill because it doesn't rely on monsters. It relies on environmental and mental torture. What, Silent Hill? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, ev like every monster you encounter is part of your psyche yeah. is what it is. And it's fun analyzing, like, what does that represent in yeah. this character? It's like what twisted part of that is me? Yeah. What does that re represent in my tortured soul? Yeah. Nothing. It's just a monster. Yeah. We had to throw something in for you to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Like you're yeah. kind of normal. Yeah. It's disgusting. Yeah. But I like that. It's like everyone in Silent Hill apparently adds to that. Yeah. So you're fighting. A monster. It might not be from your psyche. It could be from that guy over there in the corner. It's like he's Who's sobbing. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like it's just hilarious how everybody. Yeah, like you said, everybody. It's everybody's torture. Yeah. I'm like, oh great, you had to summon these. Perfect. Yeah. Worst vacation ever! Yeah, don't no vacation in Silent Hill. <laughs> yeah, I just like how these games start out as a vacation that turns into a nightmare. Not really. The first one is just the dad and his daughter driving down the road and they end up in Silent Hill. Yeah, true. Yeah. They're not exac exactly headed for Silent Hill. That's true. Yeah. Now, Silent Hill 2. Yeah. Yep, you're just heading there. Yep. For no good reason. You know this won't bring any good out of it. Why do it? I forget the reasoning, to be honest. It's been a while since I played the Silent Hill franchise, so... Like, I, I just recently, like, beat Silent Hill 1 for the first time.
first time. Okay. Like January or so. Okay. So, back on Danganronpa real quick. I don't yep. want to spoil anything about it, but I do like that if you've played the games and you know the fates of some of these characters when you see them in the anime, and you're like, I know what happens to you, and I don't want to see it. <laughs> yeah! Like, after watching the anime, I kind of really want to play the games now. Yeah. That's what the anime should be, is a good reason to play the games. Um, see, I haven't played the third one yet, or uh, Alter Despair Girls. That just sounds weird. Yeah. Um, but, from what I understand, is the third one, none of the characters in the third one appear in even the anime. That's weird. Yeah, so I don't know what the third one story is all about. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, um, the anime itself wraps up pretty nicely. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so you do get a solid ending. It's always nice when you get a solid ending to an anime, yeah. rather than a disappointing what the hell happened. Yeah. yeah. Whether it's canon or not, that's up for debate. That's true. But it is nice because it does go over how f things became the way they were. Yeah, that yeah. is true. I I always wish I always wish some manga had an anime to it. Yeah. Example. Off the top of my head, I don't really have one. Okay, oh, moving on. <laughs> yes. Psycho Busters. I want to say it doesn't, but I feel like if you look hard enough, someone may have. Maybe. I. But yeah, I'd love to see how that plays out in an anime. Okay. Like, I've been reading the Berserk manga because it's Elden Ring. If you play Elden Ring, a lot of oh. uh, items are... Basically ripped from Berserk. I'm from what? Berserk. The an uh, manga anime. And put into what? Elden Ring. Okay. Oh, I didn't know you were reading Berserk. Yeah, I just started uh, a few weeks ago. Oh, nice. I'm only on the third book, though. Oh, that's cool. Don't have a lot of free time, but when I can, I will. <sighs> yeah, I haven't really been reading manga lately, I haven't really had the time, either. Fair enough. But... Also, I, don't, I haven't really had the money to pursue any more of it. That's fair. Like, you have a decent collection, you just gotta be patient and it'll grow. Oh, yeah. Like, I want to at, at least complete my monster collection. Fair enough. That's one I should really get into, but I really need some free time. Yeah. But between you and Curtis, I've heard it's really good. Yeah, it's pretty good so far. Yeah. I just have to continue it. Yeah. So the other thing I gotta get caught up on is Stranger Things. Season 4 came out, and I have not touched it. I've heard a little bit about it. Uh, you're one of those ones that watches it, huh? Yeah. I have not touched it. Fair enough. Is, is it worth, worth it? Um, that's up for debate in my mind. Oh, okay. Season, I like season one for the setup, but everyone just kind of says season one's not that great. Okay. But I'm like, it's setting up the characters, so it's not really going to be That's true. polished. Season 2 was really done well. Okay. I felt Season 3 was kind of lacking. Yeah. And now I'm just kind of a little hesitant to get into Season 4. Yeah. Because I'm getting mixed, like, oh, it's actually really good, and then, no, it's actually terrible. Yeah, it's always... Yeah. 
Yeah, I need to get back into the Flash. Yeah. I've kind of put that on the back burner. I keep getting into the superhero shows. Don't know why. I s- it, it's only certain ones I can get into. Fair enough. Like, Flash. Flash. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> only the Flash. Go to wish and see if you go fast. <laughs> I mean, it'd be cool. Think of... I'll say this right now. Think of how many banks you can draw. So you become a villain real quick if you got superpowers. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, check out this bag of money I got. Cody, you would bash it into every wall. <laughs> oh come on, it takes practice. Yeah, but when you're running at like the speed of sound and you crack into I the wall, I can phase through walls. Once you figured out how. <laughs> <laughs> How many walls is it going to take before you figure out, oh, I can just phase through it? <laughs> 40. <laughs> You're optimistic. <laughs> oh, what do you think? Mm, about probably in the hundreds. Oh, you're a jerk. It's more complex than it seems. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like, I couldn't get into, like, Arrow... Others. Yeah. Like, I wanted to get into Gotham, I really did, but I just didn't see a need. <laughs> I kind of want to give that a try, but also at the same time, I really don't. No. Like, I don't really want to see the villains before they were villains. Yeah, because at that point, they're just nerds. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's cool to see origin stories, especially for the Batman roster who doesn't have very many. Yeah. Or someone's rendition of how they would be. Yeah, that's true. Because they always change the origin story in every iteration of them. Yeah, they do. And then, I feel like they tease the Joker too much on that from what I heard. I can't really speak to that because yeah. I haven't really watched it. Yeah, that's just from what I heard. Like every season, you're like, "Oh, is this guy actually going to be the Joker?" And yeah, turns out no, it's just some crazy dude. Uh, yeah, I got five episodes in, and then it was like break time. Yeah, and never came back. <laughs> yeah, pretty much longest break in history. <laughs> There is so much stuff on Netflix. Yeah, Netflix alone, I can spend... Actually, I don't use a lot of Netflix, to be fairly honest with you, but I'm sure if I sat down and looked, I'd find a lot of stuff I want to watch. It's just, I don't... Like, that's why I stay away from Netflix, because it could probably end up being there for longer than I want. I, I did start trying a new streaming platform. Yeah. That 2 be one you hear the ads for. Right. I tried watching a movie on it. Um, something... Galactic Terror or something like that. Right. I was like, maybe this is going to be good. Immediately see the graphics and immediately see the special effects and I'm like... Oh, this is going to be bad. (laughs) Oh, this is going to be bad. Oh, yep, this is bad. (laughs) Bye. Yeah, see, that's why I can't even get into live action. Yeah, those B horror movies are so yeah. bad. Yeah, uh, if you're going into a B horror movie, you have to have the mindset that like, this is bad. You're just watching it to see how bad it becomes. Yeah. And then sometimes they surprise you, and it's like it's B horror, but it's actually pretty good. Yeah. I kind of wanted to find a good horror movie to watch. Well, stick around, because in October we'll be starting up the uh, horror month. Yeah! So, maybe I'll get some movie ideas then. Sweet. Perfecto. 
But I'm looking at the time, so we're going to have to call the episode here, Cody. Mm -hmm. But until next time, thank you all very much for listening in. And until next time, have a good one. Peace out.